Y'all, Flat Earth Asshole here, and today I got a very special guest. He's a friend of mine who lives here in Modesto, and I've known him for years. Mick, why don't you come on out here? Hey, everybody. So this is my friend Mick. Uh, we've met each other uh, doing shows in Modesto. He's also a performer. How long do you think uh, we've known each other? Well, there's uh, videos online, if people can find them, of us together probably like 2006. 2006, 2007. I used to be known as Solo Bass Jake, and Mick used to do stand-up comedy and sing covers, and we met each other doing a comedy variety show. And uh, we started working with each other recently. He helped me uh, tape for a few videos, the one we went out on the streets with this shirt. He was running the camera for me. And so basically, uh, why don't you tell him why you wanted to show up today? Well, um, I have found uh, a, a couple clips. Well, one in particular, uh, I think, is a clip that has never been seen before uh, by the public. I mean, a, a mess up that hasn't been revealed yet. By NASA. Yeah, an, an original NASA clip from a press conference that's a, a fuck up, a new one. And uh, when he sent me the clip, I had never seen it before, and uh, the video doesn't have very many views, and so to my knowledge, I don't think any other Flat Earthers have found this clip. But he also sent me another clip that's very popular that a lot of people have seen, and we thought we'd throw that in and make fun of it too. So uh, basically, before we dive in, I want to uh, let you guys know he also has a YouTube channel called uh, Blue Number Media, and what kind of stuff would they find on your channel? Well, if you go uh, way back on the channel, you're going to find local news from Modesto, but it's action stuff. It's actually kind of fun to watch. Police chases, fires, that kind of stuff. Then I kind of went to movie reviews because I got burnt out on that. Then I got burnt out on movie reviews because movies suck now. And, uh, and then uh, I might start uh, doing videos like this over there. So uh, I definitely want to do more with you on that channel too. You mm. know, So we're going to kind of partner up. Might turn his non-Flat Earth mainstream channel into a Flat Earth lines. channel. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you know, that, that's a good move because Flat Earth is always trending. It's mm -hmm. trending 24 hours a day so much that they're having to roll back views and delete videos because it's so damn popular. They have to lie about how popular it is. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it, Mick. Whoa! All right, Jake, so this is a uh, press conference after the 1983 Challenger mission. The footage that you're seeing was played at the press conference, and then you're going to hear some audio of the astronauts talking during the press conference. And there's some real gems in this one. This one is the video with the uh, infamous face that was just found about a month ago. The video was uploaded on YouTube in about 2008, I think. And um, it just came to light in April. Somebody found the face and it's uh, been going viral. Now I know GeoShifter found this video and then Mark Sargent reposted it on his channel. So it's got a lot of views, but it's such a great video, and I had never seen it until Mick showed me, so I thought we'd go ahead and make fun of it for anybody who just hasn't seen it yet. And there's a couple other gems as we're about to get to the uh, infamous face there. Now, uh, watch right here. You're going to notice that the astronaut, during takeoff, is not wearing a pressure suit, and he's not even wearing gloves. That's that's insane. Is that like a motorcycle helmet that he's got on? Too? Yeah, if you notice, you can see like his neck under the helmet, and uh, it's a, it's straight up a motorcycle helmet. There can't be a pressure seal there. So his helmet's not even connected to his suit. There's no gloves. It's not pressurized or anything. Don't don't fighter pilots wear wear like better looking helmets than that? <laughs> All right, here comes the here comes the. Uh, Footed. No, wait, is okay, it? Yeah, here it comes. Okay, okay. Look to the there right. Pay yeah. attention to the right. Oh, wait, no, it's not it's yet. Not yet. It's coming up. Okay. It's probably like the next, oh, the they, next time we see outside. They tricked us. But basically, uh, you got to remember this was 1983. This was back when Return of the Jedi was made, and they didn't have CGI. They had to use models back then, and this is what they're using for the space shuttle. They're using a model that's probably about three or four feet long and um, it's it's gonna be up on on like a table or up on uh, you know something and and uh, 
Just remember, like, go go back and look at the making of Star Wars, that kind of stuff. And that's the same technology that they're using to fake this video. So when you see this guy's head, he's uh, one of the uh, technicians, I guess, that uh, was helping on the model. So here it comes. It's right after this scene right here. You can see, as you said, with it, that was basically our arrangement. Our uh, dance coming up. Pilot seat during the All the suspense is building, Mick. Sort of it's coming. <laughs> Maybe we could have edited this, but we wanted to show you it in real time. In real time. Okay, here it is. Here, here it, it is. comes, ready. folks. Pay attention to the right. Boom! He's looking at the camera. What is that? Who is that? Do you oh. see that? Oh, oh, duck. oh, get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. Did you see that? Look, look, he's ducking down still. You see him. Wow. And there's still, there's some other stuff going on in the background too. Oh man, we're going to have to go back and cut this clip up and replay it over and over again. Which we've already done, so it's convenient. <laughs> Look at this goofiness right here. Oh, they do. That's definitely what is that? A satellite being launched? Do you, do you remember that that like um, Never Ending Story and like claymation technology? Those kinds of movies. That sounds I mean, about right for '83. <laughs> yeah. Oh, watch them turn on the light here. Watch them. Here comes they forgot to turn on the Earth. Watch. Turn on the Earth. Oh, oh, oh there it is. They just illuminated the Earth right there. <laughs> they forgot to turn on the Earth too. You know, the great things about these old press conferences is uh, they they made a lot of mistakes. You know, and they, they never expected us to be watching. This. Here it comes, Mick. Let, let's just keep this flowing. Here's the face. Look to the right. That's a dude's head. You see, <laughs> you see the forehead. You see the nose. You see the eyes are kind of dark, and you can't really see his hair because his hair it's dark. Let's take another look at it here. Boom. In slow-mo, baby. Look at That's a dude's face in the shot. Now, you know the excuse Whoops. for this. I've, I've been hearing some people making excuses in the comment section. Oh, this ought to be cute. What's the official excuse for this one? That that that's a reflection in the window because they're filming out of a window and that's a guy's reflection. But if you notice, there is no reflection in front of the shuttle at all, at all. And you can even see the shadow. If you look, you can see the shadow of the model on the guy's forehead, perfectly lined up with the model. That's 100% proof. As far look at that Man, shadow on look, his head. This has to be one of the biggest screw-ups of all time. And if, Do you see any part of the reflection in front of the shuttle at all? If they're just, they're going to call no. that a reflection of a window? <laughs> it's completely cut off behind the shuttle. There is no... And there's, there's his nose. There's his forehead if you can't see it. Because some people are saying, oh, that's a... That's a meteorite, or that's a, I, I talked to one, one woman said, oh, that's a fish. She saw a fish for some reason. It's dark, it's, it's dark matter. Yeah. It was just some dark matter. <laughs> you see the nose, you see the forehead, clear as day. Hey man, it's proof. And, it, and if they faked one thing to me, they faked it all too. I mean, when you can find proof like this, show this to your friends, show this to people, make them explain it to you because once you can get them to see one one mess up. Once you can prove one thing that they faked, you know that they faked it all. Yeah, unless you're one of those people like, well, maybe they didn't go to the moon, but after that they started telling the truth, man. It was only to beat the Russians that and that's lied. How I, <laughs> and that's how I, I found Flat Earth was because, and I think like a lot of people, it started off with the moon landings for me. You know, I, I, I realized uh, early on that the moon landings were fake. It was just too obvious. But then you start going, you start seeing more and more um, that now, you know, it's obvious that even the shuttle missions were fake. So, Mick, this video right here, a lot of people have already seen, but just in case they haven't, we just kicked that door down. But you found um, a couple flaws that I don't think any other flat earthers have found yet. So, uh, why don't we get into those right now? Yeah, you know what's neat about that real quick is that... Um, because I started watching this original video, the original content, not just the person from Flat Earth talking about it, I started watching the original press conferences. They're on YouTube, and they're they're a, they're a pretty dull watch. But if you can if you can handle it, there's a lot of gems to find that have never been discovered before. Well, I think it's awesome because like you're sitting through all the boring shit and finding the gems and then bringing them to me. So <laughs> yeah, let's so, check it out. So, me, yeah, let's check out this brand new one that I think has never been seen before. All right, let's check it out. 
So like I said, after I saw that video, I started watching a lot of the other press conferences on this particular YouTube channel. They're gems because they were made in the 80s before all the special effects and there's just a lot of fuck ups to find, it's great. Um, now on this one, we're watching this one from the beginning, it's from the uh, Discovery mission, as you saw. And um, what we're gonna see on this one is we're gonna see a nice uh, little uh, string action. Some good old, you know, Star Wars technology from the 80s. Models again. Oh, here we go. Hey, Mick, have you ever launched a model rocket? Like, you know, it's like a toy model rocket when you were a kid? Look at that balloon. Have you ever launched one of those toy yeah, models? Yeah, it goes like... Pshow. Have you ever seen how fucking fast a model rocket takes off? It's like... Pshow, and it's gone. If you've ever launched a model rocket, you know how fast, like a bat out of hell, that thing is gone. Mm -hmm. How come these ones that are supposedly going f much faster, these full-size rockets, how come it looks like they're going so damn slow? And not only that, <laughs> you, can, you can also look at um, missiles. Like missiles being launched from battleships. I mean, those take off like a bat out of hell, too. But it seems like once NASA gets a hold of them, they slow way down. I swear these look like they're full of helium. Like it's rising about as fast as a helium balloon would. You know what I mean? Like they just fill the rocket full of helium, and then the fire is just all for show. I swear my model rockets when I was 12 years old were a hundred times faster than that. They would disappear and be gone within a fucking second. And this thing, like... Takes for oh look and now there's the the fake curve of the there's, earth. There's yeah. the there's the curved horizon there and a lot of people that fly airplanes I guess they fly that that high because they can swear to God they've seen that. Yeah, people in, who say they see the curve from an airplane I guess that's how high they are. Yeah. There's a cop looking dude. <laughs> Uh, they're floating. Pilot, yeah, they gotta be in space if they're floating, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. There's no such thing as uh, doing Dude, that. Dude, look at that guy. He's just like <laughs> chilling in like, a, in like a polo shirt and sunglasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sunglasses yeah. while you're on board a space shuttle. Okay, now here it comes. Now, uh, check this out. They're launching a satellite out of their fake-ass spaceship. Watch what happens here. Is this where the fuck-up is, Mick? Yeah, it is. Watch. Watch. Pay close attention here. Ding! What the hell is that? Now, now what, what was that? Now, what were we looking at, Mick? Can you tell us where to look and what we're supposed well, to look for? What we're seeing is the light reflect off of a string. And some people might say, oh, it's an antenna. But if you look straight ahead at this, there's no antenna on the top of this. There's the, no antenna, no, right? no string. Now, as it goes up, uh -huh. you're going to look for this little at the top, flash. At yeah, the at the top. very top of the screen, watch this flash of a string. Oh, oh I, I saw it. Here it is in slow motion. You can see uh, clearly that the light hits that fish string or fish wire or whatever it is right at the right angle and we get a great look at it so it's just being jerked up in the air on a yeah. cable basically oh cable. yeah it's like a cable yeah definitely there it is look at it yeah you see the light glimmer off of Boom. it there it is oh they got lazy they could have edited well, that let me out tell you man. what's going on here too i mean this was in 1984 when they were editing this they were probably looking at a uh, 19 inch television screen that um, was black and white. They were cutting real film. Yeah, they were still snipping yeah. film at that time and actually cutting room floor was yeah, still look, a real thing. Yeah, here's a still of it. You can see that there. Now, now I think the excuse for this is probably going to be, well, that's some sort of antenna on the top of the on the top of the satellite. But as you saw, there was no antenna on the top of the satellite when you're looking at it straight on. Um, and, and it just hits that the light hits that string and just and I think that they just missed it and I don't think they had any clue that in the year 2017 we'd be watching this on YouTube with high definition screens and uh, and being able to uh, break this down. Wow, good find, Mick. I mean, clear as day. That's definitely a cable attached to what they're saying. That's a satellite launch, right? Is that what this yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, they're saying that it's so a... So that's a cable definitely just jerking it away from the camera view. And you don't see it beforehand, and you definitely see it there at the end. Wow, I got to say, that is a great find, Mick. And to my knowledge, uh, no one else has found this one yet, so... Hopefully this could be a really good kick in the balls for NASA and maybe we can get this video to go viral and we can get all my fans and friends to share it. And uh, hey, it's clear as day, man. 
I mean, try to get your friends to tell you. Try to get your friends to tell you what that is and get their excuses on camera. Send, yeah. I'd like you yeah, send me your friends' excuses. <laughs> I'd like to put together uh, a video where where it's people's excuses on what the face is and what the wire is, and then I can make a video of all everyone's different excuses. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You know, it's a real honor to find something that I think is, is, is a new. You know, fuck up from NASA. I, I and and the way that I did that is something that you guys. I hope you guys start doing too. You saw the name of that YouTube channel. What was it? The International Federation. Inter- International Aeronautic Astronautical Federation. Something ridiculous like International that. International Astronautical Foundation or Federation. It's on the. It's in the video. So feel free to go check that out and sit through and look for diamonds as Mick found. I mean, if you're willing to sit through some bullshit, you can (laughs) find the diamonds. And uh, God, Mick, I can't thank you enough for bringing me this diamond so we could kick NASA and the balls together. I got one more thing to show you because there's a lot of funny stuff on here too. This is a clip uh, just just, uh, giving you some real insight into what they're really doing up there. And uh, check this out. down to 4.3 in the suit without risk of the bends. It uh, greatly uh, improved the flow of EVA operations, and I was even able to work on the checklist some while pre breathing with the launch and entry helmet. pre breathing in the helmet gives you quite a bit of freedom of motion in the vehicle, so it's uh, a lot nicer than hanging on the wall for three hours in the suit. <clears throat> That's a little sound slate, a lot of movie production, big movie production going on in the, on this flight than hanging on the wall for three hours in the suit. <clears throat> That's a little sound slate. A lot of movie production, big movie production going on in the, on this flight. You've been hanging on the wall for three hours in the suit. <clears throat> That's a little sound slate. A lot of movie production, big movie production going on in the, on this flight. <clears throat>